when I first found out the news, I was at the doctor's and I went in the car and the first thing I did was cry. The first thing I did was cry and I don't know. I, I called my mom and I just cried and I cried. We are on our road. We are on our road. Turn that bell on, cause we dropping them bangers all year long. We got the pranks, we got the vlogs, we got the challenges, yes we do it all. Let's get lit with the Prince family, let's get lit with the Prince family. what's up guys welcome back to the vlog how you guys doing i'm doing all right and i got my beautiful wife right over here what's up guys i'm doing all right i'm doing all right i'm doing all right what's up guys i'm doing all right i'm doing all right i'm doing all right and we are back again guys with another video and we are on our we, we are, are on, on our, our <laughs> we are on our we are on our hey hey if y'all new to the channel, subscribe right now and join the family because we're dropping the bangers back to back for the rest of 2021. Also, guys, we do post notification shout outs at the end of every single video. So, if you guys want to have a chance to shout out on our radios, all you gotta do is turn on notifications on. Once you do that, comment down below. But today, 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 we are about to talk about something that we pretty much kept to ourselves mm -hmm. for the last two months. Mm -hmm. uh, our baby girl, Ayla. Hey, what's up, Ayla? You wanna say hi, Ayla? Hi, hi guys. Friend. Say hello. <laughs> um, I don't even know where to start. Um, yeah, it's kind of um, hard to talk about, so it's kind of hard to start somewhere. Yeah. Basically, you know. Let me just put a disclaimer real quick because yeah. I know I'm gonna cry this day. I'm already getting emotional. Um, oh my gosh, I'm not trying to cry. It's too early on in the video. <laughs> We didn't even start yet. I know. I just want you guys to be respectful. And if you're not respectful, please do not comment. Please leave this video. This is not fun and games. This is nothing to play about. And we're here just to tell you guys because you guys are a family. Um, so, yeah, you can go talk now. Yeah, I know, like, like a year ago, man, about a year and a half ago, we was involved in some, some drama between, like, us and our, our daughter, Nova. And a lot of people, I won't say a lot of people because we have so many real supporters, yeah. people that's going to just ride with us regardless, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so about a year and a half ago, we got to a situation where we made some comments about our daughter Nova um, and people took a small clip. They, they made it. They made it, you know. Bad. They made it bad, you know. People, they'll, they'll watch us. People could judge somebody off a 10 second clip, mm -hmm. which is so crazy, but it's like. But y'all don't really know us. Yeah, it's yeah. like, dude. Like our real supporters that watched us since day one, since the DMV Nation days, since the Prince Lemmy days, from the beginning, you guys, you guys riding with y'all know, mm -hmm. you know, people are so quick to judge without even knowing the full story, mm -hmm. you know, and um, basically we just had we had we dealt with a lot of hate, you know, over the, since we started doing YouTube, we dealt with a lot of hate over the last year, even before last. I mean, in order to become successful, you going you gonna have to deal with hate. Yeah, that, hate's it, gonna come. It comes with the territory. So that was with our last daughter, you know. Um, and now we have another daughter, which is baby Ayla. Mm -hmm. And now I already know, we already pretty much know what the comments are going to say. Um, not like the comments on in our YouTube comment section, but like comments like on other platforms once yeah. we put this out there. Mm -hmm. um, people are going to judge us. Um, I mean, but it's all what cool. Yeah, this is what like comments like, this is what you get. This is what y'all deserve. Whatever else they come with. Any negative comment. You know, they'll, they'll turn anything positive to negative. But we try to turn anything negative to positive. Exactly. But at the end of the day, if you if you come here to judge, I mean, that's shame on you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel bad for you if you want to comment something negative, you know, about our daughter, about situation we going through, we in right now. Cause Honestly, they're going to have to deal with that. They're going to have to talk to God about that. Like, they're going to have to get disciplined by him because mm -hmm. of the stuff that they're saying. And, you know... 
it's, it's people out here that are really rude. But like Damon said, we try to turn everything negative into something positive and just thank God for everything that we are blessed with. Mm -hmm. uh, thank God for the situations that we are in, you know. Everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a reason. We just, you know, you gotta, we just, we, we pray every day, pray every night, pray all the time. Um, some things out of our control, exactly. which is understandable. Um, so two months ago, well, a little over two months ago, our baby girl Ayla was born, our second daughter, our fourth child. Exactly. And <laughs> basically, we had to stay in the hospital for an extra, what, usually people stay in the hospital for one day. Mm -hmm. We had to stay there for, was it three days? It was, it was three days, two nights. Three days, two nights. And it was because basically she was having um, a few complications like, you know, she couldn't hear out of one of her ears, mm -hmm. you know, and um, if you guys had babies, you guys know that um, when you're in the hospital, your baby has to do, um, I think, a hearing and an eye test, like just to make sure everything's still good. Um, and they have to pass that test in order to be able to leave. Yep. So they actually kept us there extra night. So the doctors or the nurse or whoever the person was, they came in to do to check her uh, her hearing and one of her ears was good the other one wasn't wasn't as good it wasn't as good so the next day they came back in the room they were like we see y'all tomorrow morning um tested her again tested her again and it the results was the same mm -hmm. so we ended up leaving the hospital and i think it was a few weeks later or like a week later I think like it was a week late two, a week or two later we had to schedule a doctor appointment because our baby girl had to see a specialist well, no, we had to go back to the hospital. Oh, the hospital. We had to go back to the hospital like a week or two later, and then after that, and then we had a schedule to see a specialist. So we went, we went back to the hospital again for after the we, third time. for the third time, it was the same results. Same results. She couldn't hear one of her ears. Mm -hmm. um, and then we had to go see a specialist, and it really sucks, man, because I'm not even able to be there for my daughter. I feel like, and the I can't be at, I can't be next to Bianca either at the same time. Yeah. Like. Bianca then went to like so many freaking appointments I by herself. To, I don't know how many. It's like if you was to take a guess, how many? I would say like in the last two months, I went to maybe like what do you think, like ten or more appointments? Probably. It it was a lot of appointments, and the appointments are all over the place. Yep. Some are far, some are close. It's like it's it's a lot of driving. It's a lot of it's just a lot. Mm -hmm. Um, and so we went to go see the first specialist what which was an audiologist um and due to covid damien can't come to any of the appointments it's only one parent um so we went to go see the audiologist and they did the test we were there for a long time like three hours she passed in one of her ears like immediately like super quick mm -hmm. um and then the second year the lady was struggling she's just like yeah so the results i got from the hospital the results that i'm getting today are actually worse um and she was like, but, you know, let's just not worry about it. You know, I'm going to have you go see an ENT doctor. Uh, we went to go see an ENT doctor. And they didn't do a, um, like a hearing test there. They just talked to me and they scheduled an MRI. Because they asked me, they said, does Damien have um, hearing loss in his family? Do you have hearing loss in your family? And I'm like, no, neither one of us. So they scheduled an MRI. The MRI came back clear. Her her brain looks good. Her Both her ears looked good. So then we had to schedule a doctor for a pediatrician. And her pediatrician had to get a urine test. Um, and the urine test was testing for CMV. Now, I don't know if you guys know what that is because I barely know what that is. Uh, she was like, we're just going to test for CMV and we're going to see what the results are. I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. Um, the results came back and it said that... Don't cry. You don't gotta cry. Hey, well, you can let it out. No, it's all right. It's okay. The results came back and said that she was positive for CMB, and I have I have no idea what that is. Um, basically, it's a infection or disease type of thing. Um, I still don't know what it is. All I know is that it's normal for adults to get it. And we all get, I guess, some time in our lives without us knowing. We just have like a common cold with it. Um, so basically what happens was I must have got sick during my pregnancy. <sighs> it's all right. It's all right. I must have got sick during my pregnancy. And since I was carrying her and she eats everything that I eat and she drank everything that I drank, I have passed it to her through the placenta and I gave it to her. And there's been multiple times where I would cry to myself or I would tell Damien like, this is all my fault. She has hearing loss because of me. 
and he had to explain to me that there's nothing that we could have done to prevent this um it's like i don't even know like one out of what every hundred babies or something i think one out, one, I think one one out of one, what is it i think it's like one out of every hundred or two out of every hundred basically babies get it but it's not it's not like like people aren't talking about this people mm -hmm. aren't you know try to find a way to prevent this from happening when you go to the doctor and schedule doctor appointments they don't like they don't test you for that um but during my whole entire pregnancy my doctor she did say that oh your baby's measuring smaller than she should be and that's one of the side effects of cmv is that a baby could be on the smaller side the baby could have a smaller head the baby could have vision loss the baby could have hearing loss the baby could have speech you know problems the baby could be non-verbal at all the baby could be non-functionable at all like there's so much there's there's so many things that can happen that we're unaware of like there's it's actually it can actually be worse than what she has and mm -hmm. i'm forever forever thankful you know for her just having the hearing loss that she has now that's not saying that as she grows up that she won't you know have speech delay or she won't um, have hearing loss in the other ear. She won't, you know, it's not, it's unknown. We don't know. All we know right now is that she has hearing loss in one of her ears and the hearing loss is getting worse and worse every appointment that we go to. Um, it's, I think she said like a, she said it's an 80% chance that it could go to her other ear. Um, so far her other ear is still good. Um, it's still healthy, it's still, she can still hear out of it. And we've just been keeping this to ourselves for so long because it's hard to talk about because we've never had to go through anything like this. All of our other kids are, you know, 100% healthy. Not saying that she's not healthy because she is healthy. She just has that little, you know, hearing loss, which is it's not going to stop her from anything. She is meant to be on this world and she's a special child and everything happens for a reason, you know. Um, it's kind of opened my eyes more to make me look at life differently, to make me realize, you know, it's not nice to talk about other people. It's not nice to judge other people because you don't know them. You don't know what they're going through. And it's opened my eyes to make me value life more, you know, cause we're, I see this thing on TikTok and it, it was like a saying, saying that we're, it's, I don't know how to explain it, but basically our lives are temporary. All the people that we're meeting is temporary. This stuff isn't permanent, but we have a permanent mindset because of the love we have for people and the way we are on this earth, but it's just temporary. So while you're here, love people, like have fun, do what you have to do. Stop being negative because you don't know what people are going through. And Today, she actually um, got her hearing aid and like, there's just like so much that still goes on with this. Mm -hmm. And I'm just so confused and lost still. And I blame myself for it. Well, it's not your fault, you know? It is, but it isn't. It's, it's not your fault. I mean, this could happen to anybody. This could happen to any of our kids. I mean, it's nothing we can do. All I, everything happened for a reason, you know? Everything happened for a reason. Um, our daughter, she's still very healthy. Mm -hmm. She's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, and then she, she's very special. You know, all our kids are special. Mm -hmm. They all stars in my eyes. And she's going to be great. You know, I don't think her um, not being able to hear in one ear regularly like a, you know, a regular person is going to stop her from doing great things in life. Mm -hmm. She's still going to be great. Um, look at her. Just hold her up. Look how beautiful she is. Look how beautiful is she sleep right now. Look at these cheeks. Look how beautiful she is. <laughs> Want to wake her up? She said, hey, daddy. Okay, daddy. There's still so much more that I could probably talk about. My mind is literally blank right now. Like, just speak freely. I mean, just, you know, just speak freely. Whatever, whatever's on your mind, you say it, you know? At the end of the day, this could happen to anybody, and it has. Mm -hmm. like, like, I told Bianca, uh, well, you guys don't. I told Bianca this. I said, at first, when that stuff first happened, when we first found out the news, I'm like, after the first few appointments, I said, ah, everything will be all right. Don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. And then as she, Bianca started going to more and more appointments by herself, she started, she come home and she would tell me this news. I'm like, dang, you know, we might have to prepare ourselves, you know, for the worst, um, you know, information, the, like like the, the worst news. And I told Bianca, I said, well, listen, I always try to find, we all try to find 
positive in every negative situation. And the first thing that came to mind is this. It could have been worse. You know, that's it, true. There's other people out here worst things has happened to their kids unfortunately there's and actually people who have the cmv where it's like way worse and i don't know how they do it because i'm struggling with this and to you guys it may not be a big deal but to us it is because this is new to us we don't really know how to cope with it yet we've only known for you know two months and within those two months we've gotten so much information that it's kind of like how do you how do you take it all in you know and then covid don't make it no better because i can't they won't allow me to go to no appointments exactly so um, i have to come home and tell him everything and the stuff that i'm probably forgetting to tell him because i've learned so much and he's like well what about this i'm like well i don't know because i didn't ask that question you know when i first found out the news i was at the doctors and i went to the car and the first thing i did was cry the first thing I did was cry, and I don't know. I, I called my mom, and I just cried, and I cried, and I said, how are we going to tell people this? And I'm just like, how are we going to tell people this? How are people going to understand? Like, I don't want people to judge her. I don't want her to get any type of hate. I don't want people to look at her any differently. I don't want people to treat her differently when she gets older. I don't want people to talk about her because people have, you know, committed suicide and stuff for that. Like people, like bullying is a real thing. And me and Damien as parents, we're gonna try and do the best that we can to let all of our kids know that they are handsome, they are beautiful. Don't let anybody tell you anything different, no matter what people say about you, just know deep down in your heart that you're beautiful, you're handsome, you're a star. You know what I'm saying? And we tell our kids every day how much we love them. We tell them every single day how handsome and beautiful they are. And I feel like we have to because this world is so fucked up. It really is. This world is like, this world is mean. And yeah. we didn't even want to show her. We didn't even want to show DJ and Kyrie, we was already on YouTube, so like we just kind of like showed them. Mm -hmm. But even Nova and her, we, we didn't want to show them right away because, for example, what happened, you know, when Nova was born, people took stuff and they twist, they twisted our words and made it worse than what it was. Mm -hmm. You think we want our daughter to grow up and feel like she wasn't, she didn't want, like we didn't want her to be here in this world? No, not at all. Like. We wanted our daughter, we got our daughter, and she's the best thing that happened to us. All of our kids are. But it's just like, people can be so manipulative and so rude. And so we didn't want to tell you guys, but we, you know, talked about it and we we had to because some of y'all are family. Y'all, you know, y'all go on the road with us and y'all are down for us no matter what. And we appreciate that. And we love you guys. Yeah. And the thing about it is, it's like eventually you guys gonna you guys are gonna know eventually. Exactly. Because you know you guys know we do our vlogs and videos and kids are in it. You know, we don't wanna just show I don't wanna just you know, we don't wanna just be blogging it and you guys be like, yo, what's that in her ear? Yeah. Cause you guys are gonna see it, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh so Cause it's we, not it's not like you can't hide it. It's right there. Yeah. So <sighs> So we just thought it was just, you know, best if we just, you know, come on here and tell you guys. Like a few weeks ago, um, some of you guys got Facebook, some of you guys don't got Facebook and Twitter. Like it was a video we had did. It was called it was called uh, Ayla's Night Routine. Oh. And people had took a screenshot of the thumbnail and they shared it all over the place on Twitter and Facebook. And people were sending it to us and they was making jokes, talking about some oh, y'all baby look old, y'all baby look like an old woman. Uh, she looks like she needs a cigarette. Yeah, and they were talking about her head got the cradle cap. Now she got cradle cap. We told everybody that, you know? We but can't just like, prevent that from happening. It happens to a lot of babies. It's really, really common. All I, gotta, all I gotta say is this. I mean, what goes wrong comes right back around. You know what I'm saying? So don't be out here trying to judge people, people, kids, stuff like that, because you never know. I mean, God watching over everything. Yeah. Because eventually you might have kids of your own. Mm -hmm. Or you already might got kids of your own. Or maybe you might, you might be already going through something. Or maybe... You got bullied when you was a kid. You might be getting bullied now, so you probably feel like, hey, I'm behind a computer screen. Let me let me let me comment, talk my shit. 
Let me cyberbully. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, you gotta live with the results of your situation. So we're gonna take care of ours no matter what. We're gonna keep moving forward. We're gonna keep loving our baby girl. Um, she's so beautiful, and I'm gonna keep loving my wife, loving my family. I scared her to live that. <laughs> she's knocked out, y'all. Guys, she literally was just up before we did this video. Before we started this video, she literally was just wide awake. Yeah, I don't know what happened. She was. I feel like I'm I'm missing a lot, but I can't even think right now. <laughs> so you wanna show them? All right, so basically our process of um, what well, Bianca told me so All right, so how does this process work? So like today Bianca went there to you had an appointment today with Ayla mm -hmm. and they gave her this right here mm -hmm. This right here. This is so small <laughs> This is her hearing aid. Yes. Yep. This is her hearing aid right here mm -hmm. So this goes in her ear and this is actually a temporary one and how long this one is hers this piece right here, the mold, the small piece, this mold is hers. This right here is a loner. Okay. Um, the reason that we have a loner is because she needs to wear it for three months to see how she's coping with it, to see if, um, just to see if her hearing's getting worse, if it's helping her. And we actually have another um, audiologist appointment next month where she will have another hearing test done. And if her hearing is getting worse, then we're actually going to look into a cochlear implant. Um, with that being said, I don't know what a, I'm, sorry, I'm not home. really sure what a cochlear implant is. I just know that it's basically like a magnet. It's a, it's a, it's surgery. Okay. It's a magnet that has to go inside of her head and then she'll have a piece on the outside of her ear and a piece that actually attaches to her hair. So it's like a magnet. Um, that is for kids who have more of a hearing loss than just like what, like a hearing aid can't fix complete deafness in the ear. Mm -hmm. Right now she can hear a little bit, but it's just like certain sounds and certain um, noises without this, but it's not clear. She's actually, first she was in the mild to severe um, hearing loss, and then it actually went to severe to profound. And profound is like completely deaf. Like when they do her, her next hearing screen, um, and if it's completely deaf, we're going to talk about getting a cochlear implant, which is very, very expensive. Um, which means she would have to have surgery. They would have to go through her brain. Um, and it's like, it's like a, a, it's a long process and it's very, it's a hard process. Mm -hmm. Um, so she's going to be wearing this. If you guys see this in her ear, this is what it's for it's so that she can hear us so she can, you know, be able to hear everything clearly. Cause now she can still hear. It's just only clear through her Wonderful. right ear. Her left ear, she can't um, really hear anything out of. So she has to wear that for three months until we figure out, you know, if it's working for her or not. Yep, the procedure, if she do have to do a procedure, it is very expensive. It's very expensive. Um, but at the end of the day, it'll be worth it. Yes. Um, because she's our baby. She's our princess, one of our princesses. So, you know. She's so sweet. She is really knocked out. Like, <laughs> literally before, like guys, literally before she, uh, before we did this video, she had poop really bad. Oh my gosh, all of this is not the outfit she wore today, guys. It was a different Nike outfit and it was gray. She pooped all over that thing. <laughs> she pooped through her clothes. It was like, I was like, I asked Bianca, I said, yo B, what's that smell? Yeah, he did, he was like, it's still like sewer. <laughs> like sewer, though. No. Look at baby Ayla was like, it's her. I was it's like, her. oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. So now I guess, I guess she pooped. She felt she, relieved. She pooped, ate, and now she's sleeping like a baby. Yeah. Literally like a baby. She's so cute. So yeah, um, we just pretty much wanted to share this uh, with you guys. Um, hope you guys support us no matter what. And at the end of the day, just, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for always being here through every situation that we've been in. Um, thank you just for the, all the positive comments on Instagram, Twitter, and even in the comment section on YouTube. Just thank you so much for all the positive comments. It, it really means a lot. And yeah. people always say that we motivate them yeah. by doing videos. You guys actually motivate us by commenting positive stuff. Mm -hmm. It makes us want to go harder for you guys. Yeah, it's like, wow. You know, so it's like, wow, people really, you know, they really like us. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, they really love us. They're really showing love. So that just motivate us to go even harder and want to just keep doing this, you know? Because we, we, like, me and Bianca, we, we type of people, we go off vibes. Yeah. And we can literally feel the vibes through your comments, you know? Mm -hmm. So regardless of the fact, we're going to keep grinding no matter what. Because we do this for the people that love us, not the people that hate us. Yeah, you know? I do want to say one more thing. Um, I don't want you guys to kind of mix up or twist like why I'm crying. I'm not crying because she has hearing loss. I'm not crying because she's different. Um, I'm crying because I feel guilty sometimes because I feel like it's my fault. And 
as a mother, we even fathers, as a mother and father, we want the best for kids and we would do anything in our power to make sure that these kids are straight. And I kind of feel like if there was something I could have done to prevent this, then I would have. You know, because I don't want her to go through, you know, long-term problems because of me. I, I blame myself for it because I had it and I gave it to her. I didn't know I had it, but you know, at the end of the day, no, but I'm just trying to explain to them that I'm not crying because she has hearing loss. Okay. I'm not crying because she has to wear it or because she's different because she's perfect. Mm -hmm. She's special no matter what. If she came out worse than what she was, she would still be our perfect little angel. Mm -hmm. Um, I just want to clear that up. So all people going, oh, she's crying because her daughter's hearing loss. No. I'm not crying because of that. I'm just crying because I think anybody would be emotional. Yeah. You don't. But some people don't some people don't look at it like that. People People gonna judge regardless. But at the end of the day, it's our lives. So, you know. We really don't have to explain ourselves to nobody. Uh, like I said, we do this for the people that love us, you know, people that's with us on all our journeys. Yeah. Um, so And one more thing, sorry. I can't, and I'm sorry to remember stuff. So. Right, one ahead. more thing. Um Good mind. So not only does she have the hearing loss from the CMV, she also has, I don't know what, I don't know if there's a word for it, but she's like on a smaller side compared to babies. Um, when she was born, she was six pounds, which Kyrie was six pounds when he was born. Um, and he's like this big old kid now, you know? Kyrie got big, all our kids got big. Yeah. Nova got big, everybody got big, man, yeah. it's crazy. But they, they grow up in front of her eyes. Technically, in the 50% tile where she like should be averaging, she should be about 12 pounds right now. Um, and she's only nine pounds. So she's in like the three percent, the th the three percent for her head size and her body weight, um, which they check her head size because another side effect to the CMV is that she could have a smaller head. Um, so they're just like watching over everything. We go to appointments every single month, multiple times a month, and they're just gonna keep a close eye on her. There's no medication that we can give her to prevent anything from happening. You know, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And those are two things that she has. I'm gonna, I'm a special girl. Yeah. I'm a princess. Yes, you are. And she actually has an eye appointment um, tomorrow that we're gonna see what the back of her eyes look like to make sure that she can see fully, you know. And if not, again, we're just gonna deal with it, you know. So sometimes, guys, if like, let's say like we doing, you know, our videos, like if sometimes we miss a few days, please understand that we just um, trying to just take care of home. Yeah because home come first before anything goes. Mm -hmm. So if we miss a few days, if we go, don't upload for two or three days, just understand that we just trying to just take care of family, you know? Uh, make sure our kids straight before. Mm -hmm. Anything else. We gotta make sure our lives outside of YouTube is straight before it is on camera, because it only makes sense, you know? So just please respect that and you just be respectful. Um, other than that, <laughs> this is the end of the video. Positive vibes only, guys. Positive vibes only 2021. You yes. know what I'm saying? All right, guys. We got to do our post notification shout out. And who would that go to today? That goes to Harry Brown Gang Gang. 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 You are our post notification shout out winner of today's video. If you guys want to have a chance to get shout out to tomorrow's video, all you got to do is turn notifications on. Once you do that, comment down below. But without further ado, who? We can't be too loud because baby girl right here. <laughs> but we're gonna see you guys later for the next video. We are out. Peace. Peace.